Hi everyone. So here she is. This is my 2009 uh, Ducati Monster 696 with all my little mods. All the things that I wanted to do that I told you about in my last video, I did. So let me walk you through. So the first thing that you guys see is the color combination. This is not um, a stock 696, obviously. It's much fancier. Um, so it came with red plastics and the red frame because um, that's how they come. The white ones come with a black frame and the black ones come with a black frame, but I really like the white plastics with the red frame look, which is like the 796. Um, so I got the white plastics. I also decided to uh, have the wheels powder coated red to match. A little bit of that unique look. I have a Ducati Performance carbon fiber front fender. There she is. Sorry for the shakiness. That's how she looks. I want to actually take these stock mirrors off and put the uh, Rizoma Reverse Retros. I think those look kind of neat. Again, there she is. And if you're wondering what this thing is on the back, even though it doesn't look that cool, it really is. It's the Ducati Performance um, tank bag, or I'm sorry, the tail bag. And it's the bottom half, and it's pretty neat. It actually, you take the rear, the seat cowl off, and with these things you attach this bag, and that's the bottom part, and it's got these nifty little pockets, these little mini saddle bags for, you know, for your lip gloss and your brush and whatever else you guys like to carry. And then right here, this is a zipper, and the gayest backpack attaches to this. Um, but you know what? It's great. If you're traveling, uh, it's enough for an overnight or a weekend stuff. And then you can unzip it and wear it like a really retarded backpack, but whatever, it does the job. And these are the termies that I told you I was going to put on. They're fantastic. And another thing I had done, actually, is you'll see that the rear sets are powder-coated black. I know, right? And then that little exhaust guard also. Um, and I'm probably going to have that exhaust. I was going to have the exhaust cover on the termi powder-coated, too. Um, but I didn't have those with me at the time. But anyway. That's how she looks, and I'm going to turn it on and show you how it sounds with the Termis, and it also obviously has the high efficiency air filter and the, uh, the race ECU. And I'm actually bored of the Termis, and I'm putting on the Quad D Xbox exhaust. It's at home. I'm really excited. I'm thinking of having that uh, ceramic coated black, actually, because I think that'll look kind of neat. Um, so yeah, that's... That's how she looks. Let's turn it on. Oh, that's my scooter. Isn't that cute? Huh. Alrighty. Ah, where's the key? Oh, the key is over here. Ugh. Relocated. Isn't that pretty? It says racing. I know, right? So fancy. Everyone's really happy about that. And I was going to tell you about one more thing, but I can't remember what it was. Uh, all right. Well, if it comes to me, I'll put up another little video. But there she is. And then when I install the, the QDX box, which I'm sure you guys know what it is, but 
it goes right there in that little empty space and it really cleans up the look of the bike because if you can picture the term he's gone and I already have the tail chop so it's just going to be really really clean it's going to look a little shorter and I don't think it's going to be as loud I'm not sure yet um, as the termies and that's actually one of my favorite parts of the termies but anyway there she is sorry I like to ramble so that's what I did bye